Hey there, and welcome to the side transitioning video for Canvas. Side transitioning allows you to select a specific region to the side of the bed where you would like your printer to transition between filaments. It's a great option to clear up some bed space and reduce print time by extruding faster. Side transitioning is only possible on printers with nozzles that can move off of their print beds. In order to customize side transitioning in Canvas, you must first go into your printer profiles in this first example, we are going to show you how to set moving side transitions. First, we select the printer we wish to use. Then we select Edit Printer, and then navigate to the Transition tab. In the Transition tab, we see there is a Side Transition Type option. We are going to keep it selected on a long edge. There is also a drop-down menu of which edge of the printer we wish to use for the transition, as well as the edge offset to allow the printer to fully move off the bed while transitioning. There is also a transition in place option if you simply select it. We will show what that looks like later in the video. For now, we will show a long edge and click save. Now we navigate to projects and click new project. We import our models, then drag and drop our desired colors, and we see a transition tower appear next to our models. In order to change that, we will have to navigate to the settings and the transition section. We will then select side transition. Now all we have to do is slice. Once sliced, we see in the visualizer that the side transitions are located on the north side of the print area. All we have to do is print. If you wanted to easily differ from your standard style profile, you can easily create a new style profile from an existing style and simply change the transition type to side transition. And now whenever you select this new style profile, it will only use side transitions. If you have a mechanism that will catch side transitions or wipe the nozzle after transitioning and wish to select a certain location on the print bed, you can use the transition in place function in Canvas. Here, we will show you how transitioning in place looks like. We will make a new printer profile. Just like before, we will navigate to the transition tab. We will then check the transition in place function option, and that enables us to select the coordinates for where we want to have the transition happen. For now, we will leave them both at zero. Now we will import our models, select our desired colors, and make sure to have the side transition option selected in the transition settings section. Once the models are sliced, we will not see anything in the visualizer unless we select the Show Travel Moves option on the left. Once that is selected, we can see where the transition occurs at the coordinates 0, 0. This is an example of a good side transition. The filament is flowing effectively and the speed is set appropriately, allowing Palo 2 to keep up with the filament consumption. However, some printers do not like to extrude in one spot. Use movement side transitions if your printer does not extrude in place effectively. And that's it, you're all set. This video showed you how to use side transitioning in Canvas. To see a playlist that contains other Palette 2 features, click here. For more instructional videos and information, check out the rest of our channel as well as the links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video or connect with us at support at mosaicmfg.com.